Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I'm here with these Kicker EB101s which I had picked up in my trip in Canada and I got them for a fair price about $20 or so and they do have a retail sticker price on them for $49.99 or which I see online at the Kicker website for $44.99 and also if you do look at other websites you can find them for about $20 or so maybe a little bit more or less. But anyways these are the Chanel Sladex uh, version which come in a bluish uh, color with a little gold um, I don't know trim or outline I'm not exactly sure how to say that but I'll show you in a little bit uh, but anyways first off what's in the box is three uh, silicone tips rubber silicone tips and they're supposed to be ultra comfortable but I found them to be still a little bit harder I guess it takes time to get used to them or for them to get a little softer I'm not exactly sure but that's how I find them to be and they also do come with one pair of comply foam tips which I do seem to f actually see in a lot of uh, earphone packages today and I personally don't like them but you know you might like them I don't know um, it also does come with a kicker leather case as you see on the right side or top right right there and there's the other three tips and what comes standard on the earbuds or earphone already are the medium sized ones and then you do have the larger and smaller ones. Showing you guys some of the specifications for these earphones is that it does have a 3.5 millimeter corrosion resistance nickel plated jack. Uh, it has a cord length of 53.15 inches or 135 centimeters. The cable type is a black braided cloth cable so it doesn't really get caught on most things and uh, get or get tangled a lot so I find that to be pretty good. Uh, it does use the Kicker Ultra Gauge Wire with Kevlar and the magnet material is a neodymium iron boron. Hopefully I said that right or pronounced it right. And it does have a nominal impedance of 16 ohms with a 27 to 19k frequency response or uh, hertz and a 96 decibel sensitivity. Alright so being how it is that I'm doing a video look or view on these ear phones. Uh, I can't tell you or I can't show you how the sound quality is being that you would have to have these in your ears. But anyways uh, from what I hear or I mean from what I've experienced through these after listening to them on my iPod laptop and all that they seem to be fairly decent for the price you know they'll actually cancel out most of the noise but you will still hear most of it through them. Now that could also be because of my ear shape or something like that that these don't fit as well because I'm um, used to my other earphones but uh, they might be great for you or terrible for you so you know it's hard to say but anyways it's a round style as you can see and the way they um, put the I guess the uh, left and right I'm not a big fan because it's on the side here and sometimes you can't really see it but anyways this is left right and uh, you know just closer look at them I guess. And of course uh, some of you may know that Kicker is a big car audio brand. They make a lot of subwoofers, uh, speakers, amplifiers and you know, overall not bad stuff. But I've you know been taking a look at their headphones lately for the past I think year or two and I guess I finally got a pair for myself and to be honest I wasn't really that um, I guess I don't know, surprised about them because they didn't really perform the way I wanted them to be. But, you know, they will be definitely better, be better than um, some earphones out there. Of course, the cheap ones, you know, for instance. So, you know, it's something to consider. And then, of course, the black braided uh, cable here. Go all the way down to the jack, which is going to appear soon. And boom. As you can see, 3.5 millimeter jack uh, fits in regular, you know, everything, iPods, iPhones. Uh, the, of course, this thing does not have a microphone, so don't expect to call through it. Just for listening music, watching videos, stuff like that. And so, like I said, the sound quality-wise, it's fairly decent. You know, the bass is there. I do find some distortion at times. The vocals, uh, they're clear, but it also depends on the um, quality of the song, too, sometimes. Um, but most of the time, I don't find them to be as good as a couple others, which I have tried from, per se, V-Moda. You know, those are ultra comfortable, for sure, but nowadays, um, I don't know, they make them a little bit differently, and the prices aren't as cheap anymore, so very hard to get those.
But anyways, uh, this is my opinion on these. And uh, if you do consider them, you know, give them a try, see if you like them or not. You know, they're fairly decent for the price. And I think that's about it. I'll wrap it up from here. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. I know I probably uh, left a couple things out, so like I said, let me know. All right, other than that, thanks for watching.